joining me on this episode of Monster TV MTV. This week I'm going to talk to you about some hot tips on how to introduce a coastal look into your home. We have many people that have asked us about coastal homes and for the fact that Australia is just a large island and we've got many kilometres that stretch between cities and towns on the coastal areas and we're not forgetting our inland friends either but it is a huge coastline Australians are renowned around the world for loving the natural love of beach and the relaxed vibe that that tends to give. And so whether you've got a home on a coastal town or, or a coastal area closer to the beach, we've even had people trying to not create the same look as if they're pretending to be on the beach but give us some sort of coastal feel with some of the rooms in their homes. So we thought with all the inquiries we've had on this one, we give you three quick tips on how to get that coastal uh, look into your home and firstly the most popular one is obviously beachy colors so that coastal beachy feel using a backdrop of white and neutral tones is a real big help you need to understand that with beach um, homes and that beachy coastal look you can use things like uh, milky whites and vanillas they work to create a calmer backdrop uh, but when you're using those sorts of colours or you use the uh, backdrop of whites and neutrals they tend to help other things sort of pop in the room whether you've got uh, furnishings, rugs or even artwork really important that you, you uh, choose the types of whites that, you've, that uh, are going to help impact that look because that relaxed vibe, that clean, calmer look is created with the types of whites and neutrals that you use so many of you have received our Monster 20 colour cards and we have a number of these where we've got our Monster 20 whites which make up the most popular whites that are used by Australians around the country and we also have within that a lot of neutral colours and they help splash over your walls for an easy coastal feel so check these out um, they are very very popular in amongst all that if you're looking for colour spaces in your home a lot of the time people are looking for sort of muted shades of greens and blues. Where we have promoted our colour wash in the range, these have been big sellers for people with coastal homes and looking for those sorts of uh, looks and feels. So things like our turquoise and our greens in the colour wash, as you can see, they do retain the texture where they're used. So even though you can see through them, the pink has been very, very popular. But this white one as well is uh, as a base one but the colors these are the sorts of colors that give you that colored wash that wash the effect where you can either see the texture of the render the brickwork or the wood surface that you might be coating inside the home and it just it's a nice relaxed feel if you mix this up with a really good white a clean white always works that way as i've said on previous programs remember the flaws that you've got in the room but if you've got a nice white ceiling these sorts of colour washes can make a big impact into the room and give you that sort of feel. Great rooms to spend some time in to, to give you that relaxed look. The next piece on trying to get that coastal feel is the coastal decor. And um, look, a lot of people tend to go with things like pieces of driftwood and they can overdo it. I know it, it, where you see it a lot in restaurants and magazines in terms of the, co uh, the driftwoods that are used. You can use them subtly, but you can't just invade your room with driftwood looking all, from hanging all, from all uh, corners of the room to give you that coastal look it's going to be overdone so you want to be able to look at in a situation where you might be able to use a piece or a couple of feature pieces of, of driftwood but then what else can you to match with that and that's where the color wash comes in again it's really ideal for that particularly with things even like picture frames uh, or some furnishings we've had uh, toy boys or cupboards or bookshelves that are used with the, with the, um, the color wash range because it does highlight that timber look still behind it but you, it, it gives you that nice appearance of a relaxed beach home environment and again how you use that with different furnishings is important we've got our, our pinks, our blues, our greens, our yellows and the whites as well you can pick whatever colour theme you like on that they work really well if you can match it with the right white the right ceiling and the right furnishing so you know you're not going to go and use a very hot pink um, couch or rug and blend it in with one of these you'd use it with the whites but checking out on how these work with the different whites as I mentioned from our Monster 20 could be ideal and a great one to check out on how to get that softer feel in the home to give it that coastal look using a color wash range. 
The third one is using tropical or indoor plants. Really a great opportunity to give that feel. A lot of the times we, we focus on the colours of the paints on the walls, the floor coverings, the floors themselves and the ceilings and things like colour washes. But plants actually help create that um, beach or that coastal look. And so you can get some oversized plants if you've got the right type of room. You can create that island paradise uh, tropical feel. Or you can grab some of the uh, smaller plants that can still have the same effect. But when you get those deep greens with some of those plants blending in with the right whites or the neutrals that you pick in the home, they can have a fantastic impact on that room and really give it that coastal feel about it. And, they, and some of those green plants or those green leaves work really well with the colour wash range as well. Colourful and tropical flowers provide a little bit more extra drama if that's what you're into. Uh, don't discount those. Also the types of pots that you use for that. Don't go using a pot that would be used for more of a heritage type home if you're trying to use a coastal appearance. So you can get really creative with this side of it. But again, blending the plants in with the types of whites or neutrals you use can make a huge impact on that room, give you that coastal feel. I've mentioned the colour wash range which you, which you can find on our website. As I mentioned, we've got our Monster 20. If you don't have those colour cards, please uh, contact us. These come out for free to you. Or if you've got a white that you've used elsewhere and you'd like to see that, we've got the Monster Match. And we can match over 2,000 different whites from that range. Pick the white you want from any brand. We'll deliver it and make it for you, guaranteed. Now, if those of you that are following us on other mediums, remember our Instagram page. We have some fantastic images of coastal appearances and coastal rooms where uh, that coastal beach look has been applied with different paints and furnishings. Check out the Monster Instagram page. You'll get lots of ideas there. I'm looking forward to seeing some of your photos come into us and seeing how you make your room into that coastal effect. Till next time, we'll see you then.